What is going on guys? As you guys know, I am True Triz, and today I have a long-awaited video. This video um, should have been due like a couple weeks ago when I first promised it. And um, instead of me rushing the video and quick making something, throwing something together, I thought that I should take my time and really plan out and think hard about this video because um, this can actually be life-changing for uh, some of you guys. And um, when I mean life changing, um, if you guys have yet to see my 5,000 subscriber setup video, I highly recommend you guys see it. I will probably link it here, um, it, either in like the video you guys can click it or you guys can check it out in the description. Um, but this video I am making for you guys right now is uh, pretty important. Everything that I've gotten um, with my setup has basically been from my own pocket. And when I mean like everything, I mean everything from games to monitors to computers to microphones to headsets to chairs. <laughs> I mean like everything is from my own pocket. And a lot of people ask, how did I do it? It's been a while. I mean, it, it took quite some time for me to get all this money together. And I'm actually at that stage where I probably shouldn't buy anything else. Like, I mean, my setup is perfect it literally is perfect there's really nothing I can like ask for for my setup I mean it's too good actually and um, it's pretty amazing how I acquired all this stuff at such a young age that um, I was able to like do this stuff how I'm making commentaries for you guys making videos for you guys I mean everything came from my own pocket and not only did I um, get the money to afford to do this but I also gained something more than just money when um when getting all my materials I should say I don't know so um, hopefully you guys can enjoy this video and learn a thing or two and uh, maybe this could actually change your life how you guys live your life and how you guys can actually earn some extra cash as a kid so um basically my story starts out when um, I was at the young age of 10 actually my first like spark the first thing that really triggered me to start saving money and making money was playing paintball you know I played paintball uh, my first paintball game was when I was 10 years old it was actually a birthday party and um I started playing paintball there. We had so much fun at the party. Um, at the end of the day, we actually asked the people at the paintball place um, how old we had to be in order to make a team and enter in some tournaments. We were that determined right off the bat. I mean, we've only played like one or two matches of paintball, and we already wanted to start like a pro team. That's how like dedicated we were to this paintball. So the guy told us that. We were a little too young, we had to wait till like the age of 12 to actually enter in some tournaments, which was pretty cool, because I mean, um, we had two years to kind of get ready, and at first we were kind of like, alright, we got plenty of time to raise money, and buy guns, and buy the paintballs, buy the CO2, and then start entering these tournaments. Um, but actually, we went home the next day, and um, kind of hung out together, went online, looked at the prices of the guns and the CO2 and the paintballs, kind of added everything up, and we're going, there's no way we can afford this. I mean, we're going to have to, like, I don't know, we're going to have to get a sponsorship or something, because, I mean, we can't afford this at the age of 12. We don't even have jobs or anything, and our parents are not going to pay for everything. So, from that moment on, I really stepped up my money game. I started to save a lot more, and I always looked for ways to earn money. Um, of course, like most of you guys, you guys don't like to do work. You really don't want to go out and do work. And um, one of the cool things in general about working is not only earning money, but also earning a good life experience. Um, it builds your character as a person, you know? If you guys continue to work hard and continue your work ethic, I mean, in general, your personality is going to improve and uh, your overall features as a person is going to improve as well. So, 
like I said, this whole paintball thing happened. We were determined to get money. We wanted to earn money. And we didn't really know where to start. So, um, right away, I looked for the quick cash. And what I did was, I did household chores. My parents never paid me for, like, the simple chores that I really was supposed to be doing without pay. Such as, like, cleaning my room or cleaning, like, a dining room or cleaning the dishes, taking out the trash. Like, all that stuff my parents never paid me for because they thought that's something that I should be doing already free of charge. Um, the stuff that they did pay me was for, like, the, like, extraordinary stuff. Like, cleaning out the gutters, trimming the bushes, um, stuff like that. Like, some stuff that, like, really takes some skill to do or it takes a lot of work and time and effort to do uh, maybe like repainting the house or something or painting a shed painting a fence something that's kind of like different that uh, maybe your parents might even pay somebody to do it for you but instead you can do it and save them some extra cash so why not have them pay you um, that's one way I, like I looked at it um, also there's a quote that I live by it's not what you know it's who you know and um you know, I always take this, like, word for word. Um, although, like, when you're young, it's important to get, like, an education and stuff. But you really can't get, like, a like a job. You can't go out to, like, a grocery store and apply for, like, I don't know, like a beggar when you're, like, 11 years old or 12 years old. Um, depending on, like, what state you live or what country you live in, um, not a lot of people hire young children unless you're, like, family. And, um... So it sucks for you guys. It really does suck for young kids because there's really no way for them to get money. Um, also, you guys don't have your driver's license. So you guys can't drive to work, anything like that. But, um, like I said, it's not what you know. It's who you know. It's really important to be nice to everyone. And, you know, like even your neighbors, even waving hello or smiling to them, maybe having a nice conversation with them, uh, might spark an extra job and an extra opportunity to make some extra money. Um, what actually happened was, back in the day, um, I was very good friends with a couple neighbors, and I ended up cutting most of their lawns, and I made some pretty good money off of that. And for a young age, cutting grass was fantastic. It was a great job for me. I got some time to be out in the sun and stuff. And um, say, for example... If it was not in the summer, but it was in the winter, I actually would shovel for them. And um, I know a lot of you guys may not like live by, I don't know, like a neighborhood or if it's not cold or anything, it never snows. No big deal. You can just cut other people's grasses. You can also meet some friends. Go out and meet new people and um, offer help. And um, right away, if I were you, don't ask for money right off the bat have them pay you and um, one thing I learned from this was actually uh, if your neighbor or your friend that you're doing work for gives you low pay to start like say for example you cut someone's grass and they only it's like an hour's work worth of work and they only give you five dollars and you think that you should get paid maybe like ten or twenty dollars and you're like you know what this is not worth it why should I even bother when they're paying me such little money? Hold on, you know, it really takes a lot of time, but in the end, it's a worth it. You gotta keep holding on. Take the little income you guys can get, because um, what actually happened was, I have a story with this, another story. Um, I know you guys love my little stories, but um, I knew somebody, I worked for him, and um, I did a lot of like chores, household chores for them. And um, they pay me pretty cheap. I mean, they did not pay me hardly anything. And I was pretty mad. I was fed up. And I was like, you know what? Why should I work for them when they barely give me anything? And um, so I've been working for them for a really, really, really long time. And I was actually about to quit. I was about to tell them, you know, it's not worth it for me to come out here and um, do your, I don't know, cut your grass water your flowers walk your dog I mean it was not worth it and uh, I was fed up pissed off and I was ready to quit but then I didn't say anything did not complain at all to him I just kept smiling doing my work and took my little pay and what happened was the guy that I worked for um, 
he actually gave me a huge bonus, like, money. Like, he gave me a lot of money. He's like, you know, um, you've been doing a great job. You've always come to my house on time and did the work. And um, here, I just want to give you an extra special thing. And so they ended up giving me a lot of money just because I was always consistent. I was a great worker, great help. I was a friendly guy, and I never complained to them. And in my head, I was fed up, pissed off. But at the end of the day, I was still nice to him. No matter what they gave me, I still took it, did not complain. And um, they ended up giving me some extra stuff. So that was freaking awesome. So um, life lesson for you guys, just be nice to everyone. No matter how little pay you guys get, just take it. Just keep taking it. Keep smiling. Because at the end of the day, it's worth it. Um, but um, working on the guy's house actually gave me a lot of life, life lessons. Um, I learned how to get to like, a certain job on time, I, I learned how to interact with people, how to accept things that I really did not like want to accept basically. And um, this actually carried forward to my next career, my next childhood career. And um, it actually involves sports. A lot of you guys that are watching this video probably play sports, and a lot of you guys that watch this video probably don't play sports. And um, one thing that I highly recommend you guys do is get into sports. And um, what I mean by this, I mean don't don't go into a sport thinking you have to be the best at it. I mean, if you guys are still young, I highly recommend you guys get into sports. It can be any sports: um, golf, football, wrestling, volleyball, baseball, anything, swimming. I mean. Really, um, one thing that I really learned about um, is doing sports in general. I mean, I don't. I mean, I play sports now, but um, the sports that I first started off with, thinking like, "Wow, I'm so good at this. I want to be like a pro baseball player." I mean, I don't really play like sports thinking I'm gonna be a pro anymore, and I really don't care. I actually used what I learned from sporting, and. Um, made some cash on it and what I mean by this is I used to play a lot of baseball I mean back in the day when I was young I played baseball non-stop and um, as I got older and I realized you know I'm not really that much of a good baseball player you know how can I still enjoy the game and um, do something productive and I ended up becoming uh, an umpire and um, I actually refed a lot of games for uh, the Little League and I actually laid, or I laid, I actually made a lot of my money umpiring games. And um, this actually goes for any sport. This is why I'm telling you guys to get in sports now, is so you guys can learn the game, understand the game, and then maybe apply yourself to a job. You guys can be a soccer ref, a hockey ref, um, a lifeguard if you guys are into swimming. I mean, pretty much every sport has a job for kids you guys can become referees for the game and you can make a lot of money from doing that stuff and um, it's a great opportunity it's a lot of fun work I mean you get paid basically for watching a sport that you love to play anyway so why not um, so it gave me a great opportunity gave me some great life lessons doing uh, umpiring for the little league and um, gave me some great pay and um, that was my pretty much big jump start to making money was umpiring. Um, another thing that I did, which was another like side job I should say, was um, online surveys. And this is the big getter, you know. Um, I know I'm probably gonna get like a lot of comments asking where do I go to sign up for this? Well, what link should I go to? And uh, to be completely honest, I haven't done this online survey thing for over like four years and I honestly can't tell you where I went for this all I know is I used to do online surveys uh, make sure they're legit though before you guys start applying to them where um, what you have to do is you have to enter in all your information about yourself and what happens is companies target certain market er, er, certain markets of people and um, say if like I don't know um, Apple has a new product, they have a new iPod, and they want to strictly ask 13 year olds how they like this product, how much they use their iPods, or how much they're on their phones. I mean, they'll ask you a lot of questions containing about certain products, and um, you have to give your honest opinion on them and complete the survey. 
And what's cool about this is you actually get paid for completing surveys. And I actually made pretty good money back in the day, considering uh, all I had to do was just sit there and answer questions about um, products that I used and products that I enjoyed. So, um, once again, I highly recommend um, looking at or getting into those online surveys because they really helped out. They gave me some extra money. Um, I can't tell you what links I went to when I applied for them, but um, I made some pretty good money off of it. I had to stay dedicated because um, it's really easy for you guys to get lazy and uh, answer a couple questions and go, this is so boring, man. I'm so tired. But then at the end of the day, after you answer all those surveys and you guys get the check, you're going, wow, that was some easy money. All I had to do was listen to music. Uh, I mean, you can even listen to music. That's what I did. Uh, listen to music, hang out, chill, and uh, play some answer the question, fill in the bubble, and uh, pick out the right choice. So that's another thing that I used. It really helped me out um, making some extra money. And um, also, there's some other jobs, like I said, helping out the neighbors. Uh, post yourself up. Let people know that you guys are working. Um, what I mean by this, like, go out, go ring your neighbor's doorbell, ask them if they need any help. I'm willing to help out. And um, just looking for an extra ways to earn some cash, you know? I mean, people don't know that you guys are a working hand until you actually help them out and um, let them know that you're helping people out. I mean, people will end up coming to you at the end of the day asking for you to do stuff because they heard so-and-so gets help from you, you know? It's all about connections, and um, it's all about marketing yourself, letting people know that you are able to work, and uh, people will start calling you up, and you can make some money. And finally, um, one way that I make money today is through YouTube. And um, a lot of people look down on YouTube partners. They think that we are just money whores. We just don't care about our viewers. We don't care about the content. All we care about is the money that we make. And um, for some people, unfortunately, it's very sad, but it's true. All they care about on YouTube is the money. And uh, it's very sad to hear that. It really is. Because um, where I'm at right now, I'm truly blessed on the money that I make. And... Um, you guys know for a fact that I don't do it for the money. I even have proof. Um, for the whole month of April, I took the whole month. I was like, you know what? Screw this. Screw YouTube. I think I'm better off in life taking a break from YouTube and not worrying about anything. So um, I actually took the whole month of April off and um, still got my views up. I mean, my views were still pretty decent during that month without making a single video and not quote-unquote working you know I don't really consider YouTube work it's more of like a hobby I mean the money that I make is free money it really is free money um, I mean I'd be doing this stuff anyways if it wasn't for the money if my my ads did not work or something I mean I probably would still be making YouTube videos for you guys and um, it's sad to hear that people out there are too I don't know they are money whores, and uh, all they care about is the money, and they consider this a job. Once you consider a hobby a job, you'll never work. You'll never look at gaming the same again, and um, it's really sad because these people out there are just fakes, and I I really hate talking or dealing with those people because knowing that they only care about the check that they make from YouTube really bugs me because they really don't have their heart in the video. And um, I feel the best commentators that have their heart in the video are the ones that do this for a hobby, not for a living. So, um, once again, I only made, I mean, I don't want to say only, but like, I made a lot of money. I, I can't lie. I made a lot of money off of YouTube so far. And um, the money that I made was put directly into YouTube, you know? Like, um, the money I made over this past year, I actually bought my computer with it. And, um... I'm so happy to say that I make enough money off of YouTube to improve my videos. I mean, the mic that I'm using right now wouldn't have been possible without the YouTube money. The monitor that I'm looking at right now wouldn't have been possible without the YouTube money. I mean, 
pretty much everything that I have that is for YouTube is from YouTube. So, um, I put in a lot of money into this stuff to improve my quality of video. So, basically, I'm not really making money, I should say. I mean, I'm just throwing it all back at you guys. And I'm actually thinking about donating the money that I made in the month of April um, to a charity. Because, if you guys don't know, I actually... Um, didn't make one single video. I did not go on YouTube and make a video at all for the month of April. And um, I honestly think it's amazing because it's a long-lasting hobby. And um, things actually haven't been the same since that April month because my work ethic on YouTube changed. You know, I used to try to make videos like every day. And then after, and I took April off. The whole month of April didn't do anything. And then once I came back, you know, like the whole work ethic of YouTube just got shot down. And uh, I'm actually rebuilding myself. I mean, now, obviously, I've been working really hard on YouTube and making videos almost every day. And I want to continue to do that over the course of this whole entire summer. And um, help out my channel basically grow. So, um, enough babbling and talking about some random stuff about my YouTube channel. Um, but yes, of course, I did make some extra money on YouTube. And it has helped me out quite a bit um, with this setup but um, anyways that pretty much concludes my video on how I made my money um, once again did a lot of work for my neighbor's house um, walked the dog watered plants cut the grass trim bushes um, also cleaned the gutter did some random chores that pretty much anyone can do um, also got into sports and I umpired um, baseball and you guys can do that too if you guys get into baseball you guys can umpire just ask your little league like coaches or something just ask where you guys can get into umpiring um, either baseball you guys can referee soccer football I don't know lifeguard for swimming I mean there's some jobs out there that um, little kids have the ability to do and you'd be surprised how much stuff that little kids have the abilities to do I mean I'm not talking about like little kids as in like seven-year-olds I'm talking as in like I don't know, like nine ten-year-olds eleven-year-olds I mean there's still opportunities for you guys to make money out there and uh, finally I made some money off of YouTube which um, a lot of you guys want to do I mean it's sad to hear these people that want to get their YouTube channel partnered just to make money and it really is sad because the small channels that try to get partnered are not gonna make any money they're really not gonna get that much money you have to get somewhat big in order to make some money off of your channel and um, it's sad to hear that people do YouTube just for the money now it really is I mean it really hurts my hobby because uh, I mean I can't look at commentators the same anymore so anyways um, hopefully this video helped you guys out and um, you guys learned a thing or two about me and how I made my money and how I got to this setup and how I got where I am basically right now and um, I'm looking forward to the, my future careers um, I mean I've had a lot of experience with all this stuff from uh, doing surveys to making videos to cutting people's grass to umpiring that um, it's definitely going to help me out in my future careers down the road um, such as I don't know like building an actual career after college where I'm going to be with my life and my work ethic will definitely shape in uh, based on what I do today as a kid and I really appreciate it because working not only gives you guys extra money but it also helps you out in life it um, shapes your personality your work ethic and you become overall a better person and um, I hope that working not only helps um, me out but working helps you guys out as well and uh, that's basically what I got for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you would please leave a like and uh, comment below if you guys think these tips were helpful or not if you guys want me to explain more in depth what I did for a certain job definitely leave a comment let me know um, also subscribe I know this video is getting quite long and I do apologize but I thought this video was really important and I know a lot of you guys enjoy hearing from me about the subject. And um, have a great day, guys. I will see you guys later. Peace.